Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to my alternate Start Live Another Life series. Yes. So we've joined Did the Thieves Guild something? and been given the Loud and Clear quest. But there's a li that's a little bit above our pay grade at this moment in time. So before we jump back in, there's a few things I want to sort out. And um, first of all are the two bows which will see me pretty much through the whole game. The first is a bound bow and that's been shown in this video. And the second is a Creation Club mod, Ruin's Edge, which I'll be getting in the next video. So let's just crack on. The spell can be found in Fort Amol, northeast of Iverstead. The Bound Bow is an adapt level conjuration spell and costs 162 magicka to cast, so do bear that in mind. I have an older video that goes into the boat in much, much greater detail, uh, so, that, so watch that if you like. In fact, I suggest you do watch that. Uh, but for this video's sake, it's Suffice to say, when cast, the Bound Bow equips an ethereal version of the Daedric Bow and 100 ethereal Daedric Arrows, 120 seconds, and benefits from many, many perks, not just the archery perks. Okay, let's just take a look where uh, Fort Samal is. Okay, remove the marker. There it is. And it's near Darkwater Crossing. And there's Windhelm. Several areas you can go from it. I actually did all the run all the way from Rifton. Uh, probably Windhelm is your better bet. Okay. If you want to go the White Run route, it's over there. That's a bit. You're probably better off going from Windhelm. I reckon it's a more direct route, uh, less mountainous. Okay, so that's where it is. Let's crack on. Okay, now the one thing I haven't done on this, uh, I got the Spell Tome uh, Fury. Um, I bought it off um, uh, the Mage in uh, Riften. You will want to, you will need it. Well, you can see what I'm going to do with it. You'll need that. So hotkey that and um, hotkey the invisibility potion we got from uh, Sadir no in problem. Riften. Remember when we helped him uh, with Sapphire? Okay, and we got our Storm Atronax, and that's pretty much all we need. So, leave your followers here, I'd suggest strongly. Okay, okay, make sure you've got everything hot keyed, and we're going to just run in. Don't bother sprinting, just run in, you'll be seen, but when you get to this door, crouch down straight away. And the other mages should leave you alone. Yeah, he's going back to uh, hear about his business now. Okay. Uh, you might want a quick save here at some stage. Okay, hunker down in the corner here. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to hit this guy with fury. Okay, quickly take the invisibility potion. And we let these guys kill each other. Oops, I've got me in third person. I've forgotten where I am. <laughs> get out, get round the corner here. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> yeah, I nearly balls that up. There you go. You got 30 seconds on that potion, so it's okay. So right, they those guys up there have fought, and the one that survived is a little bit weaker. So what we're going to do is we can go up there and pop in the Atronach. Okay. Oh damn! I'm so used to playing Dishonored. Oh, quickly, get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, let the Atronach deal with him. Because he's injured, the Atronach could deal with him really quickly. He should do anyway. And yep, job done, obviously. There you go. Simple as simple. And you pop up and search everybody. Keep all your own daggers, guys. Find a place to store them if you're getting overweight. Collect up any soul gems, because we're going to do a lot of uh, enchanting at some stage soon. Okay, have a little look around. I'm probably going to miss stuff here. Doesn't matter, another soul gem. Nom nom nom, we'll take that. And extra magica, nom nom. And ferment. Take that, nom nom. Nom nom. Okay, and 
Spell sign, bound bow. Nomdy, nomdy, nomdy. Okay, yeah, I strongly suggest you watch my older video because uh, it goes into great detail on, on this bow and all the perks that work with it and stuff. This guy, is, honestly, is an excellent bow. And just get it. That's what I'm going to say to you. Just, just, just get it. Um, it's, it's worth it. It'll take you up through most of the game. Now, it's the best bow that I've ever used in Barrows and Dungeons. It clips less than any other bow as well. So, there you go. Okay, now quick save before you go out here. Now, just leg it. Just run and sprint. And in theory, you should be fine. Yeah, he's warned us. He's not after us. If they chase you, just run as far as you can. These guys will, will one-shot you pretty much. Okay, that's it, guys. You are now the proud owner of the Bound Bow. And like I say, watch my other video for all the details. See you next vid, where we're going to get Creation Club's Ruins, Ruins Edge. See you next week, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.